dedication, your commitment, and serious but also a very funny person. From the you know from the interest in the extracurricular things to being wanting to be part of a community and you know making other people feel excited and uh, you know happy about what they do. If we start these connections with young leaders from Italy, Germany, and England, everything this country, first step for the reality that can be in the future. I'm Adria Ali, I'm Chief Admissions Officer at Enter International. We are a nonprofit trying to create and raise awareness young, amongst young people about things such as accessibility, um, technology, and also um, leadership, especially. Ministry Advisors is a college admissions consultantship, so they help us uh, understand how the college admissions process works. So, in this today, I have some questions for you. So I want you to tell more about yourselves. Okay, thank you for the question. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So I'm Inês, I'm 17, I'm Portuguese. A little bit about my interest, obviously, in pornography. It's a really important for me, but it was a really important step in my development. Other important for me is policy and geopolitics. I study a lot about it. It's my daily life study after school. Uh, usually, I study a little bit about geopolitics and uh, learn the news and understand a little bit about the problem. Social impact and progress, it's really important for me. Girl Up, it's, uh, it's like an example. I make uh, part of a Girl Up uh, and I'm a girl events management. Yes. This interest of you, um, it was on the biggest part about your understanding in our community, your joyful and everything funny because you are used to talk with people and use it to um, understanding people at general different cultures. So it was really important in enter. I just want to highlight that. Some of the characteristics that made us think about you being an ideal candidate was your dedication, your commitment and serious but also a very funny person so during our lectures you are someone who um, always made everyone around you i'm very happy to be there you made us um think about summer um in a way that you we had a community so you made part of that community and you it was your biggest highlight so during your application we saw um, some of your interests. So you are interested in management and green marketing. Um, you're also a Yale Moon ambassador. So this thing with international debates, it's so it's so connected, it's so summer. So in the Andrew family, that's just amazing. When we be part of this community, like uh, I'm making this summer, was really important we be like open for other ideas and other cultures because we understand that sometimes it's uh, really prone for some persons but for me it's the thing that I like it's like the thing that I like the most because uh, share my, my culture with other person and understand other ideas it's something that we need to be ready to to make the future really part of young leaders that are for all the world so if we start these connections with young leaders from italy germany and england everything this country first step for the reality that can be in the future like a solution as for a small problem but we will make some impact on your community and i think this is the main purpose of these young leaders that participate in the summer i meet really interesting persons that i i start every day so i have a uh, a special connection with some of them and it was really interesting experience really thank you for this experience it was really exciting <laughs> um i'm really happy to hear that ines and it's one of our biggest goals in enter is also to create a community of young leaders is also to build your profile and connect you with other young people that also want to change the world i use as you are already doing right now so when did you knew that you wanted to be part of East Summer? 
So I was in my group, WhatsApp and UN opportunities that we have a WhatsApp group about it. And someone shared the opportunity and I saw it there. <laughs> So I explore more, I, I go to the website, I start to explore more and I saw that it was about sustainability and I was like, OMG, I like this. It's, it's like sustainability, something that I fight every day, you know, uh, like a lot of years ago, I started to be interested in sustainability, climate change and everything. And when I saw that I can uh, go to other countries and study this, debate this, I started to be so excited. But it was more about, uh, because I'm really interested in technology, but sometimes I'm not too bad to talk about technology. My interests are not so deeply in technology, uh, even this is really important. And the model of United Nations makes me understand that uh, sustainability and technology need to be uh, together. With technology, we can make this problem uh, a small problem to, to reduce the the, the impact of climate change. So I start to understand that this, this was two things that I, I need to start to understand more. And the answer was the first um, contact that I have with sustainability and technology together. Because even I understand that was really important they be together, I don't know how I can make that. I was like, how we can change the world with technology and make sustainability a small problem, not like today that is a huge problem. Uh, answer, make me understand some part of the technology and the uh, sustainability part and share these ideas with other person was really important because I, I have one idea about sustainability and, and technology, but I was like, I can make this. And I was like, I, I searched a lot about that. I remember I was deeply enthusiastic with about that idea. When I arrived at Italy, at Bassano, and start to talk about my idea with other person, it was, it was really fantastic because this girl knows a lot about uh, technology, not a lot like I understand about sustainability, so we share our ideas. And she was not so good in, in sustainability, but was really good in te technology. And I was better in sustainability than in technology. So we share the ideas, we make like a a brainstorm. So it, it was really important when I understand that I, I can make a difference with this person, you know, no person, people that have the same interest like me. And when I saw that, I subscribed and tried to be part of the community and I said, so we are here today. So Ines, we want to know a little more um, about your academic path. So when we saw your application, we thought of it about Wait, this candidate is a great fit for the UNISA scholarship. So we were like, okay, so we need to more know about um, this candidate. So we invited you for an interview and you were finally accepted. How do you think your values match those of uni student advisors? How do you think those values, those um, experience will help you during the process of getting into college in the future? I think when, when everyone that chose me so my profile, I think my extracurricular activities was really important. And this is like the first thing that I will, I will say about this question. Why? Because I think the extracurricular activities can say a lot about a person. And in my opinion about me, say a lot. When we saw my extracurricular activities, it's social projects and uh, a person that is really determined about how to make the routine and be listened by the the lot of people like the politicians and everything they need to listen to persons and something that i think was really important was my values because we need young leaders and persons that are that want to make a difference in the world uh things are not very simple in my opinion success is a really different difficult thing to achieve but if you are a many people person you have the courage and the time that you want to spend in the activities to put in, in that, you know. And I was like, uh, when I applied for Enter, for example, I was like, okay, maybe I not, I will not pass, but maybe I can pass. And I was like, okay, I, I can spend a lot of years to make my essays and everything, but 
it's my determination. Okay, I can't pass, but I tried. It was a good opportunity. And uh, maybe if I go, I can be part of a community that wants to make the difference in the world, you know? Because something that is really important for me is be part and have uh, friends and persons around me that want to make a difference in the world. Even if it's not a big difference. It can be a small thing, you know? Sometimes when we have uh, our neighbors and we have the, the oldest people, sometimes we have a lot of problems that we don't have, young people. And if we help them or make something that we help them in their daily lives, I think it's a, a big step and we, we make a big difference. Even for the politicians and everything is not a big difference, but we make something and that is really important. Other thing that, that I think that make me a, a good person for, for this uh, was my uh, passion about uh, internet entrepreneurship. Sorry, it's like it's a, a huge, <laughs> it's a large uh, word. But uh, to, to make a company, I understand one thing. First, we need to, to design the, the idea, you know, and understand the problem, make a solution. And this means a lot uh, when I saw this. Because uh, when I I have my project and sometimes we make the process of make part of other persons and everything, the persons that have uh, one company or a business idea have something different because we understand that this person have a lot of bureaucracy and a lot of problems in the middle to make that, but they try and they make that possible. Even they are young leaders like us or older, but these uh, young people make like a business idea is a really important thing for me. When we saw that idea be a reality, it's even beautiful that we are thinking that was it. Other, other question that is really important for me is about the mindset of learning more. Sometimes, uh, and it's a little bit sad what I will say because when I did some projects, I saw some persons that subscribed the project just to have some extracurricular activities for the university. And then it, it's really sad. But sometimes uh, if we connect the extracurricular activities and the essays, we can understand that person make in fashion. What I make uh, to that I like, not just because of the extracurricular activity. Community person. You definitely Sorry. are right, Ines, you know all the skills that you're talking about, all the things that interest you from the, you know, from the interest in the extracurricular things to being wanting to be part of a community and, you know, making other people feel excited and, uh, you know, happy about what they do. And finally, uh, values such as the interest in entrepreneurship uh, are all things that are extremely valued by universities. Uh, and those are all things that are going to really help you uh, in your uh, college journey and everything that will happen after. So yeah. I can definitely see everything everything that you're saying. Tell me, tell me, Ines, um, since you had the opportunity to do the e-summer camp uh, and have the opportunity to study abroad first uh, in uh, uh, this time and soon enough you'll do it again, studying abroad in Sevilla, you were telling me before, uh, what do you think are those values uh, and those uh, things that studying abroad teach you? Uh, what you know? What anecdotes, anecdotes do you bring back from your experience at Enter that make you feel that you are much more ready to face your challenges and your next steps in your uh, in your life? What has uh, studying abroad given you from this perspective? Uh, I will. My my only experience about studying abroad was Enter. Okay, was <laughs> my unique was my first and I make everything by myself and I, I, I will start by the day that I arrived in Italy and the last day that I arrived to Portugal. So when I arrived at Italy I was like lost and I was thinking okay I make this all way alone I'm here alone and this was my first my first experience how this opportunity to study abroad is important. Like this way that I make alone, make me 
more ready for the chance that I will have other things that now I will be more deeply, obviously, but share uh, the room with persons that have other culture, other language, and uh, other values, for example, religious, political, and everything. What's really important for studying abroad? One, one, one important thing for me in specific is to learn about other cultures. And I think it's specific for me because I want to take international relations, so uh, meet other cultures and everything is really important. But part of learning a new culture and understand the values of other persons, understand how the other country works and is different from us. Portugal and Spain is the same, okay? It was in the European Union, okay? But the bureaucracy and everything is different. So it's not because we are in the same continent that yeah, is everything uh, the same. No, it's different. We have a person from the Netherlands, uh, other from Hungary and Brazil and everything uh, from, from the other parts of the world. But is everything different? Okay, we are part of European Union, but is, everything is different. Food, uh, time of making the things. And when we start to understand like this difference, it, it's really important. Other thing that is really grateful for study about is the language. And we talk with person that talk other language. And I, I, I have something to say to you. When it was night and we, we go to the bed, Sometimes the, the family of the, of the other community uh, talk with us. <laughs> and I, I, I'm talking in Portuguese for a person that is from uh, Netherlands. And it was really fun because we have like um, a, cultur a cultural and a language experience that we don't have like in, in the computer and everything, you know? So uh, when I start to talk with the family of of my friend basically because we passed a week there and I made friends and when I started to talk with family it was really important to learn new language. Uh, Italy have a language, Italian is a, a language that is okay, have the same basis of Portuguese but it was, it was really different and when I, I arrived at Italy and I I listened to the person's talk, it was really fun. Now uh, when I arrived at Portugal my teacher and I have to talk in Italian. I, she, 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 I, I think that she think that I was like proficient in Italian, but no, obviously no. I was like with the, I know the, the basic, obviously, but that is really important. And only thing that is really special for me, I, I'm part of a, of a part, a party party, and understand the difference between. Italy and Portugal and share with my colleagues. It was really important because we understand that we have like the same uh, basis of law because we are in European Union, but uh, it's different. When I start to talk with them, we start to understand like the difference, how the law is applying country and everything. And this was other thing that I bring to my policy party because it was really fun. Uh, and when I start talking with my friends about the food and everything, but the last, the last, I, I, I swear there is the last point that I will talk about about this study abroad. It was about the the knowledge that I learned in, in this uh, study abroad is more than culture, language. Okay, that is really fun for me, but it's to learn new things. And when I arrived in Italy and passed this week with them, I learned a lot about sustainability. I was thinking that, that I know everything about sustainability, but no, when I start to listen to the, the speakers talk about, I understand that I was like, who am I here? I don't know nothing, okay? But it was really important and I, I started to, to know a lot about sustainability. I, I when I arrived at Lisbon, I deeply uh, go to the sustainability and technology. And about technology, this was everything for me. It was really important for me, technology. I don't know nothing about technology. I was like a, a person with their capacity to talk about technology. But with the summer, I understand a lot about the, te the technology part and hard skills. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a, a, a good thing about studying abroad. It's understanding where we are staying there and bring other challenge for our communities, other opportunities, 
other uh, manners to make the things. And that is really important because Portugal, the politicians need to understand some things with other countries in the European Union because we make something that are not like the best ways to make. Simple it's always like something. this, you know, Ines. It's always like this. We think the same about Italy here and they think the same about the UK in the UK. But look, you yeah. said you said two things that in my opinion are two of the most important things that you learn from studying abroad. And I speak from 13 years of experience, maybe 14 living abroad, uh, first in the US and the UK, uh, and then uh, guiding uh, over 400 students over the past 10 years in the in the admissions process to universities abroad. And, you know, those two things that you mentioned that I agree a lot of with are, you know, learning to be autonomous and really do things by yourself. And it all starts with something as simple as taking a flight, like you did now to, to come to Venice, but soon enough, you know, you will, uh, do your own laundry and then you will be making your own decisions and counting the money and stuff. So you're going to learn uh, little by little and by doing this, uh, by going abroad, by being by yourself, you're forced by definition to do this quicker, which is going to help you mature a lot. So great thing that you've done that. And the second thing that you mentioned is, you know, meeting new cultures. That's obviously so important in today's cosmopolitan world to like really be able and be comfortable with people from other cultures and you only learn how to do that by really spending time with that with them and by really you know engaging with people from other cultures you are by definition going to be prompted to empathize with the other person more by really having to understand that person more because you already know that there are going to be some differences and actually the same approach should be applied in the day-to-day -day life because Just like an Italian and a Portuguese person are different, even you and, you know, your friend from school is different, right? Because you, everybody's different. That's the beauty of it. And by going abroad, by living with other people from other cultures, you, you really understand that much more and then you're much better at, you know, applying it in today's world that is so important. Yes, it was an absolute pleasure to, to speak with you. It was so interesting to learn about all the amazing things that you've uh, that you've done with Enter and the summer camp uh, in Venice. Uh, it was really, really exciting. You're a girl with a lot of energy and we couldn't ha be happier to have uh, given you a scholarship to make this dream of studying abroad happen. Uh, and we are sure that you are going to do many more experiences abroad as well. It was a real pleasure to speak with you, Ines. Thank you. It was a really important opportunity for me and it was like, make me a different person, you know, it make me a different person. So thank you. It was a pleasure to uh, be here and talk with you uh, because share these opportunities and our experience with you. It's really important. It's like a feedback and thank you for everything. It was our pleasure. We're happy that we were able to to help and to make this first year experience abroad uh, something, uh, you know, something real and something that happened uh, for you. So. Uh, really, really happy. Thank you, Ines. Thank you, Adriali. Uh, it was a pleasure to support Enter uh, throughout uh, the e summer camp. And uh, we look forward to working with you again and to help other students make their dream of studying abroad come true. Yes. Thank you, Mattia. Thank you, Ines. And as an admission officer, I saw through your candidacy, so through your essays, through um, your interview that you were really interested and you had this natural curiosity that is so important during yeah. this um this academic scenario we have today so thank you for our participation on this summer making this is summer a big community and um make this big event even more special to us it was a pleasure to work with you and it was also a pleasure to have you know, student advisor helping us to make this dream of yours possible ines enjoy your time in cv as well i'm sure it's gonna be so much fun second experience abroad <laughs>